If you need to scrape reviews from Google Maps, I'll show you two options to either scrape a broad sample from many businesses in an area or how to use SERP API to scrape all of the reviews from any Google business profile. Let's start with a specific business here to get the reviews of. Senor Frogs here in Mexico. When I click on reviews, look who showed up first. That's me with my wonderful review. And if I scroll down, I can see these top five most relevant reviews featuring me again, which we can scrape with the official Google Maps API, getting the reviewer and the review text. Using the link in the description, we can access the official Google Maps API with my freemium service here. We'll start by using the official Google Maps API. So click this red pin here called Place Reviews, and I'll show you guys SERP API next. So this will query the official Google Maps API on our behalf to legally extract out the reviews we just provide a place ID, which I'll show you how to get, in addition to our Google Maps API key. So I have this article here on how to get your Google Place ID from Google Maps. You literally just follow this link to the Google Maps Place ID finder. It initializes to Sydney for some reason, but don't worry, you can jump to any location. So I type in Senor Frogs, and then the city and country, so Playa del Carmen, Mexico, and I can see it automatically knows what I'm talking about. So I just click this, and then I copy the place ID. I don't need to pan to the city or do anything like that. Now I paste in the place ID here, and then I provide my Google Maps API key, which I can get through the link over here. Now when I run this endpoint, it will automatically convert the response JSON from the Google Maps API into downloadable CSV files. So here's the root collection. This is showing me details about that single business with things like the address, phone number, website if applicable, etc. And then down here, it parsed out the five reviews that the Google Maps API returns. So Google Maps will only give you the five most relevant reviews, featuring me, of course, and they're not necessarily the most recent reviews. I believe at one time they were, but you can see here the time of the reviews varies from two months ago to three weeks ago to one week ago, but you can get the text of the review here, which is useful. And you can download this data absolutely free if you have an account with us. Just click Download CSV and it'll let you download up to 10 rows per day, which isn't an issue because you only get five here. So if you're okay only getting a small sample of reviews for each business, but want to scrape, say, a large list of businesses in an area, maybe to do some market research, you have a few options here of these workflows that can do this automatically for you. Either put in a big list of place IDs and look up all the reviews and combine them together, or run a general search and get out the place details featuring all the place reviews in one CSV file, up to five reviews per business. This workflow lets you run a Google search for a list of queries in a specific location or list of coordinates. So I have a video on doing a Google Maps deep crawl. I'll link in the end of this video. I don't want to repeat this again, but let me know in the comments if you need more instructions and maybe I'll make another video. But the gist is you can run a search for a bunch of businesses and then this triggers a second workflow here that looks up all the details for each of these businesses, including the five most relevant reviews. But let's say you're the business owner and you want to scrape all of these 1500 reviews or maybe scrape them all for your competitors to see what customers like and don't like about your competition. For this, I suggest using SERP API's Google Maps Reviews API. SERP API is a third party. We have no affiliation with them, nor do they have an affiliation with Google, I believe. However, they offer this API here that lets you unofficially scrape Google Maps reviews. It works just like the other endpoint where you provide a business ID, but this time it returns more than five reviews. So you can provide either data ID or place ID, which I recommend using because place ID you can get from the official Google Maps API. Data ID is a separate thing used only on the Google Maps website and SERP API is able to capture it. But I suggest using place ID so you can use this interoperably with the official Google Maps API. You can also set a sort order, which I'm not gonna get into because I think the intent here for most of you guys is to be able to scrape all of them, so order really shouldn't be relevant, but it defaults to using the quality score first, but you can change it to show the newest first or best or worst reviews first. And the pagination option here, they use tokenized pagination, so each response will give you a token, and then you pass that into the next request to get the next set of results and a few other advanced options here. Let me know if you want me to go into more details here. What's nice is they give you a nice preview of the results so you can see in the reviews exactly what data you'll get back. And it's a lot more fields than what the official API returns. We get a lot more information about the person who left the review, including number of total reviews, photos, etc. And then for each review, we can see the number of likes, the rating, the date, as well as the full text of that review. We can also see translation issues. So if something was translated, we can see both the original and translated text based on the language parameter you set. And I like how this also shows you images. You can get URLs to images that people have posted about the business and you can get the response from the business owner. So I like keeping track of this to see which businesses respond to the reviews. To start scraping with SERP API, check out the link in the description, but this time click the SERP API option. So it's gonna be just the same where I can put in any place ID like I did before, 
but instead of providing my Google Maps API key, I provide a SERP API key, which you can get for free. They give you 100 free searches a month. So this just counted as one search from them because I queried the first reviews for Senior Frogs. So this is showing me basically what the official Google Maps API showed me, the first five sorted by relevance. It's the same exact ones. However, I get more fields and I get a whopping eight results back instead of five. So I can see these three extra reviews that the official Google Maps API didn't return. And I can see the snippet and the full text and a bunch of those other meta fields I explained earlier. Now to get the second page of results, I go to the root collection and I look for the pagination token in the response. I copy it and then I paste it into my next API request under the page token field to get the next page of results. And you don't have to use our service, by the way. You're free to write your own code to do the pagination and everything if you're comfortable writing and maintaining Python code. So now here's the second page of results. We can see we finally have some below five star ratings. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the first page only showed us all five star reviews. Here we can see the snippets of the review as well as some other fields we didn't see from the Google Maps official API. So we can see the username, number of reviews that user has left, a few other fields like if they're a local guy, number of photos they've posted, the original text, if it's been translated or not, as well as other things like how well the service was, atmosphere, etc and we can see the response from the business owner if provided. Now, if you wanna keep paginating and get all of these reviews combined together into a single CSV file, you can scroll up and check out this workflow feature here. Disclaimer, the rest of this video is gonna be paid only features, so you will have to pay some money to actually use this properly. Just like before, I pasted in the place ID. I can also paste in a list of place IDs if I want to look up all the reviews for a list of businesses, which can be useful. I then provide my SERP API key and I can review the pagination settings here. So I can see it's gonna look for that next page token in the response and then automatically feed it into this variable and it's gonna keep going until it exhausts through all the requests. However, I only have 100 free credits, so I'm gonna cut this off at making only five requests total. So I'm telling it to do four additional pagination requests here, just so I don't burn through all of my SERP API credits this month. But if I were doing this for real, I would just leave that setting alone and let it run the complete pagination. So here I see the extractions, it'll get the reviews, as well as another collection for the images and one for topics. Now I let the workflow run and do its thing and it's automatically querying SERP API and passing around that pagination token and combining together all the results for me. This took a whopping 19 seconds and I can see it made a total of five requests to SERP API and I can see it passed around the pagination token to keep getting the next page of results and stopped after four pagination requests like I configured it to. And I got about 50 reviews I can download in CSV format in a single file. So here are the 50 most relevant reviews for Senior Frogs, but remember we could keep going and get all 1500 if we just let it run, but we would need a paid SERP API account to do that. And we can see it's showing all the fields I previewed earlier, including those details about the reviews like the service level, atmosphere, full text, translations when available, number of likes per review, and the response from the owner amongst other fields. Now, if you wanna get the images that people have posted, you can download this image collection here, and this column B will show me the URLs to these images. This file is denormalized, so on the right-hand side, it's gonna repeat rows for the same review because, for example, I posted four photos, so there are four rows. Photo's not very high res, but at least it works. So hope you guys found this helpful. There are a few other third-party APIs similar to SERP API, but I like featuring them because they give me a free 100 credits I can use each month to make these videos. Let me know in the comments if there are other third-party APIs you'd like me to feature on this channel. And check out this next video here on how to do a Google Maps deep crawl using the official Google Maps API to scrape a huge list of businesses from any city. Thanks for watching until the end. Like and subscribe for more.